a panda fell from the sky into the arena where a martial arts tournament was being held to select the respected dragon warrior. But as soon as it landed, the turtle master chose him to be the dragon warrior. The audience cheered for the new dragon warrior. The panda arrived at the mysterious hall of the dragon warrior. Master Raccoon had been waiting for him for a long time. The panda's loose arms, fat body, and huge belly all disappointed Master Raccoon. Master Raccoon took him to the martial arts school to test the panda ear. But the panda was clumsy, slow in reaction, never having practiced martial arts before. He suffered a lot during the test. At the top of the mountain, the panda felt very lost. He told the turtle master he was just a cook who could only cook noodles and wasn't suitable to be the dragon warrior. But the turtle master didn't think so. He said the panda cared too much about the past. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is still mysterious. But today is a gift. The panda Saturday in place. And he felt a great courage for the future. Master Raccoon found Master Turtle. He didn't understand why he had to choose the panda as the dragon warrior. There were many other excellent candidates, but Master Turtle only wanted him to believe in the panda. Then he told him that his life was coming to an end. Master Turtle walked towards the cliff. He gradually turned into pieces of peach blossoms. Finally, he emphasized again that they must believe in the panda, believe that he can be a qualified dragon warrior. The tiger was criticizing the panda for not being serious, but the panda made a funny face at her. The tiger was furious. Suddenly, a man just jumped out from behind. It was him who accidentally hit the panda's facial nerve. Later, they all Saturday down for dinner. The panda was mocking and teasing the raccoon master's ears. Everyone suddenly stopped laughing. The panda didn't realize that the master was standing behind him. He continued to perform by himself. The raccoon master told them, the Tai Lung had escaped from prison. He was coming to steal the dragon scroll, and only the panda could stop him. But the panda was greedy and playful. He didn't think he had the ability to stop the coming disaster. But the raccoon master saw his potential. When the panda searched for food, his body was very flexible. The master trained the panda with this. He made rapid progress. Soon, Tai Lung arrived. The villagers were evacuated to avoid Tai Lung's anger. The raccoon master handed the dragon scroll to the panda. But when the panda opened it, it was blank inside. This duck is the panda's father. He told the panda the secret recipe for making noodles. Nothing at all. To make something special, all you need is to believe it's special. His father's words reminded him of the blank dragon scroll. Finally, he realized that the most powerful secret was confidence. He climbed the mountain to face the evil and powerful Tai Lung. Tai Lung wanted to grab the dragon scroll from the panda's hands. They engaged in a fierce battle. Finally, he got the dragon scroll. When he opened it, he found it was blank. The panda told him there was no secret recipe. The best secret recipe was oneself. Tai Lung was furious and launched a furious attack on the panda. But the panda's soft body exploded with powerful strength. It pushed Tai Lung back and defeated him. Tai Lung said he was just a fat panda. But the panda told him he was a unique panda. Everyone is unique in their own way. Then he delivered the final blow and defeated Tai Lung completely.